welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I'm going to do a little first impression sort of review on um, the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is the intensive exfoliating treatment. So I thought about doing like my normal 30 day, 60 day skincare test on this, but because it's more of a treatment, it's not something I'm gonna use on a regular basis. I didn't think a 30 day or 60 day skincare test was necessary. Um, I'm not gonna use it often enough to see um, like a noticeable change in the 30 or 60 days. This is more of just like a thing to help boost my skin and give me like a little facial at home, that sort of stuff. So I just wanna do like a quick first impression of this. Um, this size is 1.7 fluid ounces. I actually got this from my mom. She got it in one of her um, FabFitFun boxes. So this isn't a normal size one, but they do sell a two ounce one of this and it is $85, which is a very expensive face mask in my opinion. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little background on this and what it is. And then I'll kind of tell you my thoughts on it. I also have a clip of me using it so I'll insert that when I talk about what I think about it. Um, so this is a scrub and a chemical exfoliator in one. So what it has in it is lactic acid, which are natural AHA, as most of you probably know, which will chemically exfoliate your skin. It's got silica, silica, I think is how you say it. It's a natural uh, exfoliate that is a it physically exfoliated. It's, your skin so it's the little beads that are in it. Um, it's got papaya, pineapple, and pumpkin enzymes, which will again help to chemically exfoliate your skin. Um, it's got salicylic acid, which again is another form of um, chemical exfoliant, so it'll help imp improve the appearance of your pores. It's got aloe vera and honey, which will kind of help to soothe and condition your skin, so kind of um, lessen the dryness and, chem and um, like negative side effects of the chemical exfoliants. Um, it's got vitamins A, C, and E that provide uh, antioxidant benefits, and it's got a soy lipid in it, which replenishes skin's natural barrier function, which again will help kind of um, soothe the damage to your skin barrier that chemical and physical exfoliators do. Um, so it's got a whole bunch of like clinically proven results things here on the Alta website. This is where I'm getting the information from, by the way. Um, and basically what it says is that it's Kate Somerville's award-winning exploiting scrub that can deliver a two-minute Hollywood glow. So basically what you do with this, which I will pop in me using it now, is use it, shoot, this says you can use it once or twice a week. You apply a thin layer to clean wet skin. You kind of rub it in for 30 seconds and small little um, circular motions. If you have sensitive skin, they say you can skip this part. Um, but you kind of use the physical exfoliate for 30 seconds and then you leave it on your skin for up to two minutes and then you rinse it off and pan it dry. So it's a really quick mask. Um, and it says for sensitive skin, leave it on for a minute or less or use the exfoliate gentle instead. Um, it is normal after an intense chemical exfoliator like this to kind of see flushness in the skin, um, to see your skin be a little bit red. Um, it's totally normal. You'll see my after I'm done, my skin definitely turns red. I do have fairly sensitive skin, but because I've used other chemicals exfoliators before, I was able to leave it on for the full two minutes um, and it didn't bother my skin at all. So. That is kind of the overview of this. I don't agree with the fact that you could use it once or twice a week. I think once a week probably for most people is plenty to use this if you are regularly exfoliating your skin in another way. Like I use the Mad Hippie Exfoliating Serum two to three times a week depending on where it falls in my schedule. Um, so if you're doing that on the regular, I don't think you need this once or twice a week. But it's definitely a great like boost in your skincare in my opinion. Um, I definitely don't think it's gentle enough to be used as your weekly um, exfoliator if you're gonna do it twice a week. I think it's probably too harsh for most people. 
um, but I do like it. I think it works really well. I like the smell. I know that's not really um, like important to most people, but it kind of smells like pumpkin and like cinnamon and kind of spices, which I enjoy. So it makes it enjoyable to use. Um, and I like that it's super quick. So if like, I usually like to clean my house on Fridays and then I will um, kind of give myself a little spa day. So this is a great addition to that spa day because it's so quick and easy. I can do this really quickly and then put on a sheet mask and relax for a while. And I don't have to spend like half my day doing a spa day either, if that makes sense. Maybe if I'm short on time, this is a great option. Um, I don't know that it's going to be a miracle worker. I've said this about a lot of face masks. I think face masks are great supplements to your skincare routine, but most of them are not going to be miracle workers and like fix all of your skin issues in one go. Um, I think what's going to help your skin is a normal uh, regular skincare routine. Um, granted, I am not an esthetician, not a dermatologist. I've never claimed to be just someone who loves skincare. I say that in all my skincare videos. Um, so this is just my own personal opinion. But um, yeah, I think it's a good mask. Um, that being said, I don't think it's for everybody. If you have super sensitive skin or you're new to exfoliating or if you have really bad um, active acne, I don't think this is right for you. Um, it can definitely irritate those conditions. Um, I would try a different exfoliating treatment um, or stay away from these kind of harsh ones in the beginning. I definitely worked my way up to this kind of level of exfoliating is definitely not for beginners whatsoever. Um, but I do enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to keep this kind of in my skincare rotation for face masks. Um, but I definitely won't use it once or two times a week. First of all, it's so expensive. You go through it so quickly if you did that. And that's a lot of money on a face mask. But it definitely is a good one. And um, I've personally never tried anything else like it, like drugstore high-end, nothing. I haven't found one that's similar to this that has both the chemical and the physical exfoliators in such a potent quantity. Um, so for that reason, I really like it. But like I said, it's definitely not for everybody. There's definitely some build up to getting to something like this. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on this. I know this was super short, but like I said, I knew that if I did a 30 or 60 day skincare test, you wouldn't see that big of a difference because I'm not using it regularly enough to be able to show you like a difference. Um, and I'm definitely just using it as a supplement to my skincare routine and as a face mask. So that's kind of my recommendation to you if you wanna try this, is definitely make sure you've already built up some tolerance to chemical exfoliators. Um, and then just use it slowly. Don't go all in and use it a ton. Um, it's just not going to be great in that way. So yes, I recommend it, but with caution. <laughs> um, so with that being said, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions about it and about my experience with the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, just let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, Subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.